So my second story involves Gaten Matarazzo and Kayla McLaughlin from Stranger Things. And actually this was before we met the eight kids. I don't know why I did it like this. It was at the end of September in 2017. Surprise! We found out like a month prior that Gaten Matarazzo and Kayla McLaughlin were going to the con. And Gaten and Caleb at that point in time, like in 2017, were doing so many cons, like huge props to them. They were just going all over the country, doing all these different cons, meeting all these fans. It was really, really great. And like huge props to them for doing that. And at that point, they had been doing a couple cons before that. So when we got there, we were like, we really only had enough money to meet one of them. And I felt so bad that I was like, we need to meet Gaten. Like Dustin is like my, like we need to. We're still going to say hi to Caleb. We got to do it. But like, we're going to, take a picture with Gaten. So we are the first, no, we're the second pe we're the second people in line. We like get there when it opens because we expect there to be a huge line. And then same thing, out of the shadows, they come around the corner. It was actually very anticlimactic. They were just sort of there and like there weren't a lot of people there yet. So we were just like, Caleb proceeds to give us the most wholesome smile and wave I've ever seen him at. Like, what a sunshine boy. Oh my god, he was so sweet. We proceed <laughs> to go up to Gain Matarazzo and have a somewhat awkward encounter, but it's, but it's also, like, heartfelt enough that I'm not, like, ooh, cringe. But my friend and I, we were theater kids at the time, so immediately we were, like, Les Mis, and we have a quick little conversation about him about, uh, with him about Les Mis. Now, he was super sweet, super great, but you could tell that he was kind of out of it. And it was, like, fairly early in the morning, and we were like, oh no, like, we feel like we're, like, being annoying or whatever. And then my friend is like, yo, like, can I have a hug? And <laughs> he proceeds to be like, oh my god, I totally want to give you a hug, but I actually just got a cold and I don't want to get you sick. My heart melts. We're like, that's totally fine. Like, um, like, first of all, the fact that he even came and proceeded to do an entire day of meet and greets with fans, even though he was sick and he had been doing all these cons, like, y'all, they're such good kids. Like, okay, anyway, and yeah, so we take a photo with him. It's adorable. And he's just, he's so sweet. He was so sweet, Caleb was super sweet, and then later that day we actually got to see their panel because they did a panel at the con, and I have a video of the start of the panel, and if I can find this, I'm going to put it here. There are people saying, come on! was looking tired and we needed to sing and dance to the Pokemon theme song and it was it was I mean what can I say it was amazing it was a fun time and yeah so that was my experience with the two of them they're lovely like I feel like people are gonna are gonna like expect me to like spill tea in this video and be like Psst, plot twist the stranger things kids are evil they're terrible they're they're lying no like they're literally just really great kids like you can just tell that they're just really genuine and they're not just like putting on a front for fans because a lot of celebrities do that at cons like this like you, they make a lot of money at this con so a lot of at these kind of cons so a lot of managers will be like hey you're going to this but I want to pause really quick okay this is kind of related because I want to talk about Zachary Levi and Jack Razor was in Shazam like it's it, you see where my connection is okay it kind of connects it I just want to give a quick shout out to, ja to Zachary Levi because I worked MegaCon Orlando this year, 2019, this past May, and Zachary Levi is the best, the, is just the best celebrity human being I have ever worked with in my life, like in my history of cons. This man had, oh my god, like I can't, I, like I wasn't even scheduled to celebrity honor, I was scheduled to... Digicon, which is like what they were doing with like the YouTubers, but it was in the same hall 
and um, but then later on I went to help out with his panel actually. So Zachary Levi had this panel scheduled for like two o'clock and panels are supposed to run like an hour max. Like this is supposed to run to like three. Zachary Levi, first of all, moderated his own panel. Normally panels have a moderator. It's like a person who will ask questions and like make sure that everything's going right and like whatever. He proceeded to, first of all, he wanted to moderate his, pa his panel by himself because he wanted to make sure that he wasn't rushed through any questions and wanted to answer as many as possible. This bitch stayed until 5.30 answering everybody's questions. And, like, with so much energy, with super long, dedicated answers, like, giving everybody, like, I like treating everybody like it was a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Just genuinely, like, like the, the, the most genuine celebrity I have ever encountered in my life. Just the sweetest guy. And then after this, this is the last day of the con, he stays almost an hour after the con is closed to finish up his line of autograph people because they capped the line and they were trying to get people out. They're like, yo, like we went over, like we don't have time. And he was like, no, I'm staying. I want to make sure I talk to everybody. Same thing. Wasn't rushing through, had like in-depth conversation with all these people. Like actually, like he's a, he really is a superhero. Like I can't, like I, a pre quick appreciation for Zachary Levi because he's just like the most incredible human being and I just wanted to share that really quick. So this last one is actually a little long. It doesn't involve me meeting cast members. It actually involves with me working at the con with David Harbour and Noah Schnapp and something that happened at the panel. So I'm actually going to make that a separate video. And I'm gonna end this one out with thank you for listening to my non like this wasn't really a story time. This was kind of just my experience with these cast members and just reassuring you all that they're wonderful human beings. And I hope you, if you guys want to meet them, you get to meet them someday. I really want to meet like all the like all the Stranger Things kids and all the it kids. So basically, the ones I have left are Finn, Jack, Chosen, Millie. Noah, technically, I've, I've been in the same vicinity as Noah, um, Sadie, and same with Caleb, like, I've waved and smiled at Caleb, but does that count? I don't know, I guess it does, but you see what I'm saying, like, I would like a photo proof with all of the kids, and hopefully someday I'll achieve that, I really, really want to try to go to SDCC next year. We'll see how that works out. But yeah, I'm rambling. I'm kind of losing my voice, but I really want to film this last one about Comic-Con. Um, so yeah, hope you're liking these videos. I have a lot of stuff planned. I think I did a little poll on my discussion thing of which one you guys want to see next, so go fill that out if you want. Comment down below. I answer all the comments. Follow me on Instagram. DM me. I answer my DMs. I answer my comments on there. We're equals. We are a community. We don't support toxic YouTube culture where influencers are viewed as celebrities that are above us. We're all, we're all, I'm a, like, I'm a freaking 18 year old with a camera in my bedroom. Let's chat. <laughs> we're friends here. So yeah, thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for 1k. Let's keep growing that, shall we? Share our ready love and such with the world because it's canon and it's what the world deserves. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.